Well, hello and good evening. It's great to have your company. Thank you so much for pressing that button and going, what is she on about? What is this? Welcome to my channel, I'm watching Stampin' Star Creations, and I'm going to show you some products from Stampin' Up. And we're going to mix them up and see what we get. So that's the idea of tonight's live. Now, be sure you're catching this live. If it is live, there'll be a little rectangular live button in the corner to say, yeah, I'm definitely live. Um, sometimes this video goes, well, this video will go on afterwards and it's not live anymore, but you're catching it on replay, which means you can still leave a comment afterwards. And let me know what you think of the video. So when you say hello, I'd like to see who's joining me. I might not be able to answer your questions straight away, but I will try and catch any questions, particularly at the end. So what am I going to do tonight? I'm playing with embossing paste and pigment sprinkles. Okay, so if that interests you, stick around. If you go, go what, what paste? What sprinkles? Stick around. <laughs> Look at my fingers. I've washed them twice already. It's part of the fun getting messy. So let's turn you around to show you what we're doing today. So this is embossing paste. Here are. And it looks and feels like um, cake frosting. What do you guys call it in America? Um, frosting? Wow, from Quebec. Hi, Lorette. Lovely to have your company. Um, is this your first time to my channel? I'll mix this around in a minute so you can see what that's like. So we've got embossing paste and these are called pigment sprinkles. And they're basically really fine powdered um, pigment from um, colour and as soon as you add water to it poof, the colour appears um, and I'll show you that in a minute but I was thinking what happens if you mix this with this I mean has anybody thought of it before yes maybe they have I'm just looking around to see if I've got some tissues because this does get messy so you do need either a kitchen roll or something to to sort out your mess hi April from Iowa I said that right. I, I hear what? <laughs> it doesn't sound like I said it right. <laughs> Welcome. Great to have your company. Do share this out. You might have friends who are interested in what I'm doing today. So I'm going to show you. So make sure I've got some water spray. What happens with these pigment sprinkles when they react to water? So you can probably hardly see that. Um you could just probably see some specks on there. But as soon as I spray some water on, let me just move my cards out of the way. As soon as I spray water on this, look, can you see that? Now you can sop that up with, let's just grab a piece of paper. You follow me very often. Oh, amazing. Thank you. It's great to have you along. So look at those colours, you can get all sorts of colours. So that's just to show you what it does and you could dry that off, you can leave it as it is, you can go in again. Okay, so that's just to give you an idea of what, what the pigment sprinkles are about. Now the other thing you can do with them is you can wet the paper and put your sprinkles on top or you can um, put the sprinkles on first and then spray afterwards. There's lots of things you could do with that, but it's just to kind of, if nobody's seen that in action before, there's quite a few things you can do with that. Now, embossing paste, what's embossing paste? Embossing paste, let's just move you up and zoom you in, is, like I said, it's like frosting, it's like um, cake frosting. So I'm just going to get one of my spatulas and to, to show you the, make sure that's dry show you the kind of consistency of this it's so smooth and soft can you hear that but it's kind of slightly grainy as well so um you can use this by itself like a, a textured paste basically and it goes on wet and if you let that dry it will um it will dry with that texture now you can use some coloured inks to add colour to the paste and colour it that way. You can use it white, you can add what's called um, embossing powder to it and heat that up and it goes all metallic and you could do some fab things that way. But like I said we're here today to see what happens when we put pigment sprinkles with our paste. So I'm going to do a few separate blobs of paste 
I'll do three for now because it's kind of workable. You don't need loads and loads. I've got two pieces of two colours of the cardstock, black and white, so you can see the reaction of those colours. Now I'm gonna use the more primary colours. So these come in six colours. I've put the wrong lid on the wrong thing. <laughs> That's that could be dangerous. <laughs> so I'm using um, dropping some melon mambo in front, not lots, just a tap tap. And then I'm going to go in with this is definitely daffodil delight. I had a bit of an issue with my <laughs> one of my other colours tonight, and it kind of I opened the thing and the sprinkles literally was like everywhere. I, I don't know what's happened. I've had a bit of a leakage, so I've got. Plenty of powder there. Okay, so like I said, it gets messy, but let's not worry about that. I'm going to first bring in, I've got some scraps of paper here, so let's just bring in a scrap. I've done some stamping on the other side, which I don't want. And I'm going to mix the, look at that, can you see that? So the more you mix the colour the, with the sprinkles that are on the sheet, the more, the more intense the colour's going to be, so you can create loads of different shades. So I fancied going in with this tree stencil, because they're great to use with um, stencils and masks. So I'm just going to draw you out so you can see it a bit better. Um, so what happens when you lift it away, it leaves... Oops, it is here. I've got it wet already. Oh dear. I'm going to start with a new piece of paper. <laughs> what I was trying to say, see what I mean, it does get pretty messy. So let's go in with this colour before this all just dries on me. Okay, I'm going to mix in that red and see what we've got. I'm going to, oh, where should we start? Let's go from the top. And you just can scrape that onto your paper like that. Can you see? Okay, I'm going to bring you in the right direction. Thank you. Thank you for that. You can still share this out as I'm going along. So I'm mixing a bit of the orangey colour with the red now. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, so the great thing. Why? Why not? Why do this with pigment sprinkles rather than um, the re-ink? As I'm hearing you ask, you might not be asking, but I'll tell you anyway. Because you get a different depth of colour, I think, anyway. And look, can you see that? I had a little bit of blue in there. The pigment sprinkles aren't like a pure colour. <clears throat> Excuse me. They've got like different colours that make up the original colour. And in fact, while I'm there, I'm just going to add on a bit of green, actually. Hi, everyone coming in. I will say hello. I just need to concentrate a little bit. <coughs> So don't panic that that's come out yellow. Trust me, the magic happens when you add the liquid. So I'm going to add a little bit of... See, look at that. It's turned this gorgeous greeny colour. So I want that in a minute. Let's finish off with this orange. I'm so into the rainbow vibe at the moment. So um, let's add this gorgeous greeny colour here. Let's grab you in here. I don't want any brown. I'm going to try and avoid any kind of browny colours. We're live for real, says Bobby. This is me. I'm looking at your comments. Whoa, that's a nice strong colour, isn't it? Right, let's slap this baby on, shall we? And you can just kind of scrape it, slap it and scrape it. It's a bit like, I feel like a, uh, a bricklayer. It's rather cool. I'm trying to make sure I fill all the gaps on my stencil in the hope that I'm going to lift this. And ta-da! <laughs> so next to me, I've got a little tray of water. And it's really important that you don't leave your stencils and your, your tools standing because if the paste dries, you're in trouble. I'm just going to take these out and let them dry. It does get, look, I've got <laughs> my tissues gone in my water. Oh, dear. Is Denise going, is she live now? Seriously? Yeah, I am live right this moment, Denise. Okay, now for the fun bit, sorry. Are you ready? Slow release, everybody. Here goes. Up you pop. Up you pop. 
he's clinging on for dear life. Okay, I've got a tiny bit that's come away, but let's just have a look at that. Whoa! Can we have a moment, please? Isn't that so cool? So, like I said, with the pigment sprinkles, you're going to get all those shadings. Whereas if you try to do this with Reinca, um, you're going to get... Um, I don't know if it'll be more messy, more liquidy. So what I do need to do is let this dry. So I'm going to just put this aside somewhere. And let's let's do more, 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 more. So um, Stampin' Up! sell these three tools that come together in a set. Um, and each tool's great for something different. So this one's quite a good scraper for scraping off your mess. I could, I'll tell you what I could really do with is a, a cloth. <laughs> I might have been tempted to use this soft cloth here just to clean my surface. I was like, yeah, I'm prepared. I've got my mat. So this is like just a non-stick mat that I think I nicked from the kitchen ages ago and I've saved it for my craft desk instead. So that is on white um, cardstock. So we can do some more white cardstock, but the fun thing is when you do it on black, oh, hey, we get different results. Well, obviously, different backgrounds. So you still get the vibrancy of the colours, but with a different background. So that's what we're going to test out. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for joining. Right, we're going to use a different stencil. Let's use this one, because I can't find my other ones. Right. So it's right next to me. It's all right. <laughs> OK, so I'm going to grab out a bit of black cardstock. We're going to do the same and lay down some paste. Make sure that my tools are clean. Okay, put that sloppy one in the bin. I'm going to get right through the these bad boys. Sometimes it's just not. You've got to be prepared, but it's nice to be a bit messy and just have a play. <laughs> Somebody's shouting sprinkles. I think this is my favourite one, but don't tell the others. <laughs> So again, just I think three dabs is like I said doable. You can kind of work with three or four. Okay, let's do four. So I'm, I'm thinking last time I ended up needing four, but we'll just we'll just see. See how it goes. I want you to kind of see what's going on. It's a bit tricky to kind of get all the uh, angles, man. Okay. Quite excited because I feel like I've discovered something new, you know, that kind of feeling. Right, I'm thinking some nice colours, so we're going gorgeous grape. We're going now let's try and get less of the muda. I went a bit because I've got it all covered everywhere. <laughs> it kind of went a little bit crazy. Oh, I don't know, let's go. I wasn't gonna go green, but let's go granny. Granny apple green. Knock knock. Um I was going to do, mm, let's put that on the other side. Why not? We've got them all here, we might as well. And we haven't used this one yet, so let's put him over here. A bit more of that. Okay, so we're going to go in with this fancy schmancy stencil. Now, incidentally, this, 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 and the tree stencil I've just used all come in one pack. They're all available in one pack, so you don't have to like pick and choose, you get them all. Um, they're all available from an online shop. And I'm just going to lay this master. And you can, if you're a bit like scared that it's going to wobble, then you can um, stick it down. Oh, that purple is delicious. Now, what colour is this? I can't remember. Pinky. But the pinky colour over there, the mambo. So let's do some darker purple down here so like i said the more you mix look at that intensity there oh i love it okay i want you to you could almost do with bin the other way up really you lot <laughs> so we're going to go in with that gorgeous purple color and like when you just kind of swipe it on you can just kind of i don't know just sort of um, scrape it, you're sort of scraping it on a... I can't describe it, you've got to feel it to know it. 
you're trying to cover the holes basically you can scrape over on top afterwards if you want as well so what colour do I have here that's my Bermuda with a bit of granny apple together I don't want too darker got a funny looking green there but that's okay because you know I don't know because it's okay because we're experimenting it's okay <laughs> let's add a bit of greeny bl greeny blue greeny yellow see what we've got let's just slap it on and see okay I want to finish off with a bit of I'm gonna wipe that off a minute and let's finish off with a bit of this there now I don't want mud I'm trying to avoid the muddy looking picture I can see a gap there's a gap somewhere there. Okie pokey. Oh, a little bit here. So just take your time with coverage. You have got a little bit of time to sort it, so don't panic. Okay, let's try this one. Are you ready, guys? I'm going to have a peek before you. Oh, you see, I love it on the black. Oh, my word. Look at that. I'd love to see. I'm hoping that these colours are going to stick. When they dry, I'm hoping you'll you'll have that rate well, where you will have that raised texture. Can you see that slightly raised off the thing? But on the black, it's just stunning, isn't it? Almost neon. Okay, let's do some more. I'm excited. Right, let's just go. And everything's getting a bit wet around here. Okay, let's um get me old scraper. Scrape that up before it dries off. There, so now's a good time to comment as well. I can actually read what you're saying, catch up with what you guys are saying. Lots of people have come in and said hello. I'm not ignoring you, it's just easier to do the comments at the end or when I'm, you know. What did mix the powder with? <laughs> Lul's cook, awesome. It's a good job I can translate typo, isn't it, uh, Jenny? So it's embossing paste and pigment sprinkles. Does that answer your question? I should speak properly in case um, somebody needs to translate. Not the sparkly one. So for those of you who have just joined, this is the Stumping Up Embossing Paste. Just the plain old white embossing paste. And I'm using their pigment sprinkles, which is like a strong pigment um, paint, I suppose. Pigment dye. <laughs> Now, the other um, thing I wondered about was this um, Frost White Pearlescent. Well, let me just dip this in water before it dries. Um, stuff to see whether that would give me a cool look. So shall we try that And on black? Let's do this. So let's go for, we have those sort of colours, let's uh, let's take out that so I'm wondering what would happen if I add the let's do it um, over here I'm wondering what's going to happen if I add some pearlescent now be sure to put your lid on this thing because um, if it air dries you're, you've had it basically and um so this is, it, it dries out, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> this is um, flore fluorescent, white, like pearlescent ink. So this again goes a long way. It's, um, let's just get these cleaned off. Let's see what happens. I don't know what happens. So, I mean, I'm hoping it will go nice and pearly. We'll soon find out, folks. I don't want to add too much liquid into this because it does need to dry. So you can add this to some alcohol. Not as in drinking alcohol, as in you know, <laughs> rubbing alcohol. And um, it comes out really shimmery on, on card. So I was playing with this earlier. Oh, my word, it's given me lovely shimmery embossing paste. I'm hoping it's not going to be too wet. 
because I'm hoping that it can dry. But let's just, this is all about experimenting and seeing what happens. So, um, Denise has had to hop off for a work call and she's like, whoa, wait a minute, what's she doing now? <laughs> um, so we are now mixing in some pearly frost white ink to see if I can make it nice and pearly. I'm going to see what it looks like on the black card. So there's my mixture. Let's go. Shall we do a nice kind of aqua kind of? Okay. So same again. I'm going to separate it into little pileys. It has to speak properly because if the captions are on, you're going to be not going to stand what you're saying. Let's put them into three piles. <laughs> speak to proper English, Esther. Okay. And then I'm going to have a bit of this crazy blue, which I don't know what's happened. It's leaked. Put green on this side or on the apple. Knock, knock, knock. Come in. Oh, that's a good tip. Christine said add some cornstarch or talc to thicken if necessary. Excuse me, I've got a tickle down my top and it's. Oh, whoa! Can you guys see that? How it's reacting to that? Oh, come on. My zoom function stopped working. <laughs> I'll zoom you in. Look, that's so cool. But the thing is, I do I do want just a little bit of blue. The blue tends to take over a bit. So what colour? Granny apple I had there. And I'm going to go in with Daffodil Delight. Okay. So let's start with the yellow colour first. Give it a little mix. Okay. Um... Should we do this one? Yeah, let's do this one. Oh, I don't know. What do you want? Spots or leaves? I could see doing this with some of the background dyes cut from chipboard. Background dyes. What do you mean by background dyes? Like the um, shapes or something? So do you want spots or leaves? So if you're wondering who I'm talking to, I've got live chat on. So sometimes afterwards, the live chat doesn't appear straight away, but it appears afterwards. And sometimes there is some lag for when the comments come through. So um, place your votes now, folks. Got a few of you watching. Do you want spots or leaves? Why are you just like, whoa, look, at that's gone a bit crazy. The filigree dye to my, I've just that in the water, so I'm going to. Oh, we've got a lot for leaves. Oh, that's interesting. All right, I'm going to go for leaves. Okay, uh, what colour have we got here? We've got the greeny colour. Okay, so I might start with the yellow at the top. <laughs> now all the spot comments are coming through. Great, thanks you lot. <laughs> it's too late. Gone in with the leaves. Okay, gone in with the leaves. Adding a bit of granny. I'm going to take a tiny bit of that blue. Bermuda. Add it into the mix. Oh, such a pretty colour. And then, now I don't want, this is quite heavy over here, this mixture that's going on. Give it a little mixy poos. I'm doing it again, it has to talk properly. <laughs> right, I just want a bit of that because I want a bit more blue happening. Grab a bit more of that Bermuda. Get him in there. Come on then, friend. When you come. Am I gonna can you see what I'm doing? No, not quite. Scrape him onto the bottom half. Okay, let's just leave you there a second. Just gonna give this a little bit of scrapage, just a little bit. 
I don't want to scrape it all off. But we do want to make sure we've got coverage. We'll leave it there a second. There you go. I get the first look. Oh. Putting it straight in my water. Hello. <laughs> so cool. Love it. How vibrant is that? That on a card. Oh, looking forward to making these into cards. You won't need a lot to this. I mean, these are great for masculine cards. Once you've like done your backgrounds, you're not going to need a lot more to this. Oh, this paste is lovely and soft. <laughs> okay, gotta let that one dry. I'm gonna do. Let's bring on the spots. Now I might just have to move this out of the way. I'm not gonna waste it. Right, let's just quickly catch up on any more comments that are coming through. I put a few of the sprinkles into six smaller containers and added some water. One paint some of the mixture onto a glass square and then press this card onto it. Oh, that sounds interesting. I could take my stencil down, you're right, but I've oh, been a bit lazy. Okay. Let's... I want to see... Let's do this on white, shall we? And let's just... So we've got something to compare it to. And with this one, I'm going to do partial um, stenciling. So we're not going to cover the whole area. So it gives us, pardon me, a chance to add a bit. A chance to, um, what am I saying? A chance to do some stamping or something else on it as well. I've just been listening to The Sound of Music. This is going to remind me of the hills. The hills are alive. I'm trying to not waste any. You know what? I might have to just cover it. Because I could just cut it down then, can't I? Oh, wow. It turned out really nice. Well, what kind of card would you use it for? Um, anything. I don't know yet. I'll decide after they're made. <laughs> This is very green, isn't it? Green, green grass of home. Hey, honeybee. Do you know what? I was trying, desperately trying to remember your name the other day. I was watching your, a, I won't say which one because I'm using it for something. I was watching one of your tutorials the other day. They gave me some inspiration. So thank you in advance. That's a nice green spotty one. Um, is that, oh sorry, did you mean what card am I using? Try using another piece of glass and squidge the paint between the two, pull apart and print with them. Try another piece of glass and squidge paint. Do you mean put two together and then squidge them apart and see what you've got? Do you think? So if, if you've just joined, we've been mixing pigment sprinkles with um, embossing paste and these are our results on the black. And then we started with a bit of a rainbow tree. So we've got to let these dry because it takes a while. So I would basically leave these overnight. I just, just don't touch them until the morning, basically. Um, I'll give you a sneak peek of what I made earlier. And the uh, unicorns. And look at this pink polka dot on the black. How fun is that? I think it's rather fun. Oh, I've just got fingers stuck in it. Never mind. Okay, let me just quickly take this off before it all dries. No, it's kind of friend and foe at the same time. <laughs> right. I think I might try doing one more in the black. Might just stick that on there. Kind of gives a nice oogie look. Um, I'm running out of surfaces. Let's move this bad boy up the way. We'll do one more and then I got, seriously got to clean up. Did the pearlescent come through? Thank you, I forgot to check. Did we do the pearlescent with the green? To be honest, 
I can't really see. I, I think what it's done is kind of toned down the colour a little bit. So it might have widened it a little bit more and given it like a nice sheen to it. But you, could, you wouldn't necessarily go, oh, yeah, that's got pearlescent. Does that make, I hope that makes sense. But I suppose I could go in afterwards and if you put, um, it'd be interesting to see what that looks like afterwards, wouldn't it? If you had, mix your pearlescent with, um, come on brain, mix the pearlescent with water and then coloured between the, the gaps where it was black, that might show up. I've even got paste on my top. This this is how desperate it's getting, folks. I did have a kitchen towel in my bathroom somewhere. I don't know if it's still here. Okay, one more, one more. I'm thinking, like, I'd like to do, like, a pinky colour. Let's do an ombre. Let's do an ombre colour. Have I got any stencils left? No, they're all sat in here. I think I'm gonna sorry I'm just gonna have to do a little bit of housekeeping so um bear with please call it dazzling diamonds you could also sprinkle with glitter now that's a good idea actually I might do that with this one now I did have the dazzling diamonds out what have I done with him there look see I'm going flon you know craziness Okay, let me just, <laughs> you can see the mess I'm making. Okay, oops, spillage. Oh, that was a real spill. Okie doke, come on, let's get on with this. Last one. Black cardstock. Oh, no wonder the whole thing is tilting. That's, that'd be why. <laughs> I can't just come on because I've got things happening off to the right of me here. <laughs> Oh dear, right. And boy. Now, let's get, remember to, to just remind me that I've got the dazzling diamonds because I can imagine me forgetting at the end. So, if you don't see you, so I'm just going to leave it on screen. So, hopefully, it'll remind you and me. Me and you. Okay. I don't want to waste stuff on the lid. So one colour, breaking it down now, go okay, one colour. So it's about a teaspoon, I reckon. I mean, this is, maybe I should get another piece of card in. Okay, just in case, just in case it stretches over. Sorry, you can't even see the size, the amount that I put on my paper. Okay, we're just going in with member, member number five. Knock, knock, come in. A nice strong pink to start with. Oh, it's almost like a ready colour. A bit more. Okay, I've really gone wild with the pigment there, didn't I? Okay. So I might be able to spread this over two lots. Let's see what we can do. Right. Okay, I'm going to start my darkest colour at the base. It's all about the base. There we go. Add in some more paste. Work our way up a bit. Then I could maybe do with a bit more white. Okay, that's enough for that one. Shall I get the edges? Okay. 
do what I do, just do as I say. <laughs> um, I wanted like a pale, I think even paler pink. I've just gone and contaminated all my white uh, paste. <laughs> okay. It just really reminded me of those kind of like 50s style dresses, that kind of thing. Okay, that'll do donkey, methinks. Oh my goodness, I'm nearly spilling water everywhere here. Right, here goes. Da -da 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 -da. In fact, I can probably see it way more than you guys can. But you have got different elements of that pinky ready colour in there. That's the melon mambo. You, um, this one less though. It's probably easier to do it if you used inks. But um, in fact, it's coming out a lot. Let me just turn this light and see if you can see. I'm seeing it more of that kind of colour, <laughs> basically. It's difficult to. Maybe it's this one. No, nope. it's, it's a bit difficult because we're in the night time. Right. So that is fun with pigment sprinkles and embossing paste. And I'm just going to quickly scrape this up before it completely dries on my thing. I'm going to turn camera, say goodbye and clean up all my mess. <gasps> Did somebody say shimmer? <laughs> I told you I'd forget, didn't I? There's Linda in the app. Totally forgot. I get engrossed in what I'm doing and I forget what else I'm supposed to do. Right, let's come back with that. Let's try two in one go. I'm feeling brave tonight. Lids on everything. Here you go. So Dazzling Diamonds is pure glitter. Look at that. Look at the dazzle. Look at the shine. We're going to go all over. There we go, have a bit of that. So while you put this on, it will um when it dries it will the majority will stay on because it will <laughs> Wow a wee that with unicorns I'm seeing you guys can't even get the proper glimmer that I'm seeing right now. That is so cool. Well done, everybody. Thanks for the mic. I told you, didn't I? I'm terrible. Honestly, what am I like? If I'm like this now, <laughs> give that a light tap. I don't want to lose all the sparkle and shine. There. Now, was that fun or was that fun, everybody? <laughs> well, I should say thanks for coming and joining in with the fun with me, I should say. Now, this is interesting because I've got a couple of holes in my paper, but let's do what we can. Now, famously, there was somebody on here who did a broadcast. Sadly, it wasn't recorded on YouTube. And she managed to get a complete pot of this Dazzling Diamonds on her carpet. And there was a sudden... Oh no, and a pause, a long pause, and we're like, oh, you okay, what's happened, what's happened, you know, is everything alright? She's like, I've just gone and spilt glitter on the floor. And it's not any glitter, it's Dazzling Diamonds, which is like quite fine, <laughs> fine glitter. There we go, let's bring him back in to show you. So, even just the, the plain 21. It just gives a really fun texture because when that dries, it'll be nice and textured. Okay, let's bring back the tree. So that's got a bit of smudging underneath the mask. I think it's because the mask is um, stencils, or the white is called the mask, is like that. You place it for the, the seepage, for it to seep through. That's, I think that's what's happened there, but it's still usable. Then we've got. This one was adding the pearly pink to it. That one's definitely more ombre, at least you can see that one. And mind you, that is using two colours. And then this one, which is quite fun. 
which is the bright kind of neony colour one. So if you've got any questions or anything you want to say before I go, now's a good time to say it. I'm going to turn the camera, I'll show you my fingers. They're getting drier and crunchier and crispier. And I did rainbow nails today. And it's going to completely ruin those, but there you go. Let's see if I've missed anything really important. Uh, could you mix the DD with the embossing paste? DD. Dazzling diamonds, I gotcha. Yes, you could. So if you want really glitzy, bright, glimmery, sparkly embossing paste, you can do it. And I, do Stampin' Up still sell that? I think we actually sell our own sparkly paste. Thanks for answering that question. I missed that one. Sugar coated candy. Oh dear, Vanessa says she dazzled diamond herself. Oh dear. Um, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Uh, I think I've caught up with most of the comments. Any other questions before I hop off? Thank you for joining me. It's worth subscribing to my channel if you're not already. <laughs> if you want to catch what other craziness I get up to or if you want to see any existing videos. Now, if you're not getting notifications, if you're subscribed but you're like, I didn't know she was live, there's a little bell button on my channel. If you click on it, it'll call up a menu. And if you click all, it will, anytime I load a video, come on live, that kind of thing, it'll ping and let you know that I'm live. Okay, just to let you know. So after this video is done, I'd really appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up. I can see people have already done that. Do you know you can actually give a thumbs up during the video? So that's really handy. It just helps people be able to find my video. Sometimes you do all you can to get out there, but it's still not enough. <laughs> but I know that I've got some lovely supporters that help to support my channel in lots of ways. So thank you so much for your company. My sister at Artful Stamping will be on a bit later on this evening. I know she's clearing her desk. She might be doing it at this very second. So I'm going to hop off to give her a bit of space on YouTube as well, a bit of time. Lovely to see you all. Thank you so much. <laughs> you are welcome. I'm very happy to share. And I was playing, I was playing. I was like, I want to go on YouTube and share this with my friends and my uh, my fans. <laughs> so I'm going to go and clear up my very messy mess. And I'll catch you tomorrow. I'm due back on tomorrow. Um, I'll come up with another idea of what to do. So come back about nine-ish. I tend to go on Facebook at half eight and then come over here at nine o'clock. So hopefully I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Thank you very much. And if you um, are inspired by what I've made, you can share um, and make something. You can head over to my group. It's a private group on Facebook, which is SSC Inspired and Shared. I get the name wrong. That's why I hesitated. All right, lovelies. Lots of love. I had to make sure I didn't get blue lips in. Take care. Bye.